All the avionics and airframe mods from the prior videos are complete. We've wrapped the aircraft and are sanding the factory primer in preparation for seal coat primer and paint. Watching paint being sprayed is a little bit more entertaining than watching wet paint dry. But nevertheless, we'll speed this up so you can get a feel for the process. What you see here is a seal coat primer being applied. The blue paint consists of two coats of blue followed by a glass particle coat which provides a strong sparkle sheen to the paint. And then lastly a clear coat. I'm not going to show every coat being applied, just a representative sample. You can see that all the doors and cowlings are being painted separately from the airframe. After the blue, the aircraft is remasked in preparation for a black pearl coat. The black paint has a shiny pearlescent powder in the paint, which creates a metallic-like look. Two coats of black pearl is applied, and then finally a clear coat. Shown here is the application of a gray pearlescent paint on the lower portion of the aircraft. Now you can see the blue, black, and gray base colors. Accent stripes are being laid out in a contrasting orange tape, which makes the accent scheme visible in case any final tweaks to the design are needed. The accent stripes are then reverse masked and the orange tape removed so that the stripes can be painted. After the paint scheme is complete, the entire aircraft is sanded down and a final clear coat is applied. Even after the exterior paint is complete, we're still not done painting. We rewrapped the entire aircraft and we're painting the interior and all the individual interior panels. We're repainting the stock beige to a gray to match the exterior and interior design scheme. If you are interested in the completion of this Bell 407, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will be posting videos as different modifications are being made. They will be released in the future.